If you are new to Capture One, the user interface in Capture One may seem a little bit scary at first, but the good thing is Capture One is highly customizable. If you don't need a tool, you can remove the tool. If you don't need a tool tab, you can remove the tool tab entirely. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your workspace and how you can save your customization for future use so you can switch between different workspaces depending on the subject you are editing. Now let's roll that intro. Before we get into the video, I just want to mention that currently I am doing a giveaway on my YouTube channel for celebrating 5k subscribers. I am giving away a Zhiyun Crane 2 gimbal. The giveaway is still open. You can check out the information from this video or the information from the description below. If you are interested in Capture One, now you can save 10% by using the coupon code AMBCAI. Check out more information and other tutorials in the description below as well. All right, now let's head over to the computer and I will show you how to customize your workspace. Now we are in Capture One and currently I'm using the default workspace. And we have some menus and a buttons on the top and we have the tools on the left hand side and we have the viewer in the middle displaying the photo that we are editing and we have the browser on the right hand side that we can browse photos. Now you can customize any of this. For example, the buttons on the top, you can just right click and go to customize. And if you don't need a button, for example, if you don't need this button, you can remove that so it's gone. Or you can place a button, for example, you can place this capture button anywhere you want. I can put it right here or I can move it to here. I can move this to behind this button as well. So you can move any button. For example, you can move this button to here, move this button to here. You can move anything anywhere. Once you are done, just click on done to save your customization. If you want to put the tools on the right hand side, you can do that. Go to view and go to uh, place tools right and the capture one will place the tools on the right hand side and automatically put the browser on the left hand side but you can put the browser at the bottom go to view and place browser below so now the workspace looks a little bit more similar to Lightroom you have tools on the right hand side and a browser at the bottom if you don't want to see the browser you can close the browser go to view and click on hide the browser and it's gone. If you want to add the browser back, just go to view and show browser. Now the browser is back. And just note all these things has a uh, keyboard shortcut. So you can quickly use control B to close the browser and control B again to bring the browser back. You can close the viewer as well. Just go to view and go to hide viewer. So that way it will maximize the browser and you can browse your photos and you can change the size of your thumbnails. And now you can just double click on any photo and it will bring up the viewer again. So you can edit this photo. Capture One also allows you to change keyboard shortcuts. You can go to edit, go to keyboard shortcuts and you can change your keyboard shortcuts here. For example, I have changed my keyboard shortcut for hide viewer. That way, every time I want to hide this viewer, I just need to press V and it will hide the viewer and maximize the browser. So I can go through my photos and then just double click on any photos that, that I want to edit. Now let's take a look at the tools. And here, these icons are tool tabs. And under each tool tab, you have multiple tools to work with. For example, right here, if you don't need this color editor, just click on this dot 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 icon and go to remove tool. It's gone. If you don't need black and white, go to dot 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 and then remove tool. But if you want to add black and white back, you can just right click and go to add tool and go to black and white. Now it's back. Right click, add tool and go to color editor. Now it's back. And you can customize the tool tabs as well. For example, the second tool tab is called Capture and it is basically used for tethered shooting. 
But since I do landscape photography, I don't attach my camera to my uh, computer. So most of the time, I don't need this tool tab. You can right click on this and then go to remove tool tab and then click on capture and then click on OK. So the tool tab, the entire tool tab is gone. If you want to add the tool tab back, it's very simple. Just right click on empty space and then go to add tool tab, go to capture and now the tool tab is back. And also you can press Alt on your keyboard or option on Mac and then you can drag and then move this tool tab to the position where you want it to be. And for each tool, you can move it around. For example, you can click and hold on the title of the tool and then you can drag it out. So for example, this levels tool, I can put it where, wherever I want it to be. And once you are done, you can put it back like that. Also, you can save your workspace. Go to Windows and the workspace, go to Save Workspace and give it a name and then click on Save and boom, your workspace is saved. So I already have a workspace called Main Landscape. Uh, so in this workspace, I remove the Capture Tool tab because I don't need it. Basically, that's the workspace I use for editing my landscape photos. Now I can right click and add a Tool tab. Let's add, oh, add a Tool tab, let's add a Capture. Uh, let's say at some point I'm going to do tethered shooting so I need this tool tab and let's place let's place these tools to the left. All right, now I have the, this tether shooting tool tab right here and it's on the left. I can go to window, workspace, save workspace. Let's call that main tethered shooting save. Okay, now I have two workspaces. If I want to use tethered shooting, I can use this. I can use this main tethered shooting. If I want to edit landscape photos, I can switch to main landscape. So you can see I don't have the tethered shooting right here, and I have the tools at the right hand side. Then if I want to switch to tethered shooting, I can go to window, workspace, and main tethered shooting. I can quickly switch between different workspaces depending on the subject I am editing. So I think that's very convenient. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tricks and tutorials. If you would like to see more Capture One tutorials, you can check out the playlist right here all the tutorials in the description below. And if you are interested in Capture One and you want to buy a software license, don't forget you can save 10% by using the coupon code AMBCAI. Check out more information in the description below. All right, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.